with Seagrass there, just getting a foot in the left back for FC Tulsa. They come forward again, down the centre of the field. Slipped in, and a goal! Oh, it's a goal in 52 seconds! And it's that man we highlighted at the beginning of the show. It's Stefan Stojanovic. And it only takes 52 seconds for FC Tulsa to open their scoring at one out field. It's FC Tulsa 1, Phoenix Rising FC 0. Here at home, a wonderful assist. The vision here driving through Delu, understanding the run. Stojanovic continuing it forward. Unbelievable play from FC Tulsa. The one-time finish right past Rios Novo. Segrist wide on the left-hand side. Le likes to get forward from the left-back spot. That's gone all the way from left-back to right-back. Rogers, good ball into the box. Glancing at her. Ball loose. Across goal. It goes somehow across goal with nobody touching it. Still FC Tulsa. But was there a shout for a penalty? And Has a car up the line there to Quasho. And there's a real chance. It was a giveaway. And it was head in hands time for Stefan Sojanovic, who wanted that. Dalou, ball worked out here to Rogers. Can he get a decent ball in? It comes off the defender. There's a header straight into the arms of the keeper. That is a real chance again for FC's Tulsa, FD Tulsa's number 19, Sojanovic, is Segrist. Now shot from Lasso towards goal, good save by the goalkeeper, Ria Snovo. Lasso caught that one pretty well. Still they come, here's Ferry. Now they come forward, can they make something happen here? There's a lovely ball into the box, out comes Joey Rogovin and the referee points straight to the penalty spot. And we just said, Anna Beffer, how quickly this game can change. I think it's a and with seven minutes to go to half time, Cabral has a real opportunity here for his side to get back on level terms. He waits, referee blows his whistle, comes up, right-footed, and scores. Rogovin went the right way, but Cabral scores, and we are level. It's FC Tulsa 1, Phoenix Rising FC 1. Cool penalty kick taken by Cabral as Rogovin tried to take... In some way, and they've got it. Now, there's a real chance in the box here, and there's a goal! It's two and a couple of minutes for Cabral from the penalty spot, and now he scores from the six-yard line, and with three minutes to go, the game has turned on its head. It's FC Tulsa 1, Phoenix Rising FC 2. It has. It's, it's been a quality match so far, and you knew it would be with the quality that Phoenix Rising FC has coming off of a really successful season, as we've mentioned didn't have the start that they wanted to, but they wanted to come back in, come to FC Tulsa and make a statement. They haven't. Now, here's Sojanovic, going to be 2-2 before half time. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. And Abefi, your first look at him tonight. Yeah, he's been really impactful. The ball over the top here. Sojanovic is in there. He gets a shot and it's going to go away for a goal Co kick. So, yeah. and of course, ex Charleston Battery, Real Monarchs and Real Salt Lake. Here he is. For FC Tulsa, the 31-year-old in swinger corner. Good one, header goal! What a corner from Justin Portillo. What a header from Edwin Lasso, the Colombian, the newest recruit. And it's only taken four and a half minutes, and FC Tulsa are back on level terms. FC Tulsa 2, Phoenix Rising FC 2. Uh, but he's also of Greek descent, so he's actually got uh, three opportunities internationally. Great servant to now Stojanovic is here, and he just couldn't get it over the top. Will it be the same thing again, or if FC Tulsa got something else up their sleeve? Here's the ball from Portillo. It's another good one. There's a flick header, another goal. Would you believe it? FC Tulsa score again from a corner. And this time it's Alex Sawahi up from the back. Portillo the assister. FC Tulsa three. Phoenix rising. FC two. Portillo with two unbelievable displays of delivery here. 
and FC Tulsa powerful headers to go with it and Sawahi on the end of that one. Up to Segrist, Segrist gives it away to Dorothy Oto. Now a chance for a shot on goal. There's a curling shot, but it's way, way wide. It was Quasho who had the disappointing effort. With, with just the momentum coming in, it just takes a touch. And right there, you're right, tactically not favorable for Phoenix Rising FC, but FC Tulsa able to execute in those big moments. Now there'll be a yellow card. Oh, there's a red card from the referee. Well, I was just going to say it was going to be a yellow card has come on for FC Tulsa. Wearing 11. Blaine Ferry switches the ball to Segrist. Segrist will go back here to Lasso. Who try one? Oh, he's hit the bar. Well, the goalkeeper still have watched it and will be mightily relieved. But look at this for a strike. Great ball laid off sets himself up nicely with his first touch and then just completely unleashes extend their lead but we'll see a few substitutions here and maybe a familiar face for fc tulsa folks as gabby torres checks in former fc tulsa player hernandez also checks in is rogers twisting and turning portillo into the box and there's Miley Yosef and he's just sliced it wide. By three goals to two. Jose Hernandez, good ball into the box. There's a handball. The referee has spotted that one and he's going to give a yellow card, I believe. Yellow card will be shown to Stenberg. In fact, he's shown it and I think he's given a penalty kick. What a game we're seeing. Is there more drama here for Mella? Comes up, right-footed, and dinks it into the goal. That's a very, very great finish. And so why he quickly gets the ball and wants the 11 men of FC Tulsa to take it back now to the 10 of Phoenix Rising FC. The coach there, Danny Stone, involved in the celebrations. Three, three. Phoenix Rising FC has done a great job weathering the storm. And the referee does bring this pulsating game to an end it finishes 3-3